A digital fusion or arthrodesis procedure is often used to correct and straighten contracted toes. First, the extensor tendon is lengthened. Next, the cartilage is removed from the adjacent sides of the toe bones. The toe is straightened and the tendon repaired. Fixation may be accomplished using the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. Endoscopic plantar fasciotomy is a procedure to treat plantar fasciitis. The plantar fascia is a thick ligamentous structure attaching to the heel bone. First, a small incision is made and a channel formed to allow insertion of the endoscopic instruments. Placement of the endoscopic camera into the surgical wound allows the surgeon to visualize the procedure on a television monitor. A small knife is inserted and a portion of the plantar fascia is released. The instruments are removed and the incisions closed with a small stitch. The surgeon first locates the point of maximum tenderness and draws alignment marks on the heel. This allows for proper positioning of the extracorporeal shockwave device. The shockwave pulses are then administered in rapid succession. A plantar fibroma is a firm nodule usually found in the arch area of the foot. Several different surgical approaches may be used, including a Z incision, an S, the inverted S, or a curvilinear incision. The fibroma is identified and excised. Appropriate closure is then performed. The flexor set procedure is used to correct a flexible mallet toe deformity. This deformity is most often the result of a contracted flexor tendon. A knife blade is inserted through a small incision in the bottom of the toe and the contracted tendon released. The toe is then straightened and held in place with corrective bandaging for proper healing. The correction of an ingrown toenail begins with the removal of the ingrown portion of nail. An incision is made to identify the nail root. The nail root is identified and excised. The skin is then sutured closed. The plantar fascia is a thick, broad, ligamentous structure found on the bottom of the foot. During normal walking, this ligament is stretched. With repeated stretching, this can cause inflammation and pain on the bottom of the heel bone.
A bump on the back of the heel bone is called a Haglund's deformity and is basically an enlargement of the bone. The surgical treatment involves removing this enlarged portion of bone. The plantar fascia is a thick, broad, ligamentous structure found on the bottom of the foot. During normal walking, this ligament is stretched. With repeated stretching, this can cause inflammation and pain on the bottom of the heel bone. The surgical treatment for a heel spur includes releasing the plantar fascia at its attachment into the heel bone and removal of the bony spur. A painful corn on the inside of the toe is generally caused by an enlargement of the underlying bone. The procedure begins with the placement of a small incision into the toe. The bony enlargement is then rasped smooth. The area is flushed of any bony debris and the incision closed with a simple suture. The correction of the hammer toe deformity begins by the excision of the corn through two semi-elliptical incisions. The enlargement of bone is identified and removed. The incision is closed and the toe straightened. The correction of the hammer toe deformity begins by making an incision on the top of the toe. The soft tissue is retracted to allow visualization of the underlying bone. The enlarged portion of bone is removed, the incision closed, and the toe straightened. The lesser metatarsal osteotomy is often used as a treatment for a painful callus on the bottom of the foot. The procedure begins with the placement of a small incision on the top of the foot. The metatarsal to be treated is identified and a small wedge of bone is removed. The head of the metatarsal is raised and may be fixated with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. The lesser metatarsal osteotomy is often used as a treatment for a painful callus on the bottom of the foot. The procedure begins with the placement of a small incision on the top of the foot. The metatarsal to be treated is identified and a small wedge of bone is removed. The head of the metatarsal is raised and may be fixated with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. The Keller procedure is used to treat arthritic changes around the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. The arthritic bone is removed and the thick soft tissue of the joint capsule placed within the defect. 